the number six Montana game of all time. Super Bowl 24. Our number six Montana game matched up two of the greatest quarterbacks to play the game. Whereas Montana Marino wasn't billed as this great quarterback clash, at this point it's Montana Elway, that's legit. Everybody's ready to see if John Elway can step up and match Joe Montana. Black 59 Razor! Black 59 Razor! Joe and the 49ers struck first. First drive. Montana to Rice, right down near the goal line. Boom, there's Steve Atwater. Steve Atwater's on the ground. Jerry Rice goes into the end zone. Pretty much looks like game over at that point. Just complete control of the offense. Precision, knowing where the third and fourth receivers are. It's a clinic. I love all the drama, but when you're, when you're a fan of a team, you, you really don't want drama. The game that was billed as a quarterback battle turned into a one-man show. Montana threw for five touchdowns and 297 yards in only three quarters. But down here, we went A right or, or C right or left, and free release, backer, I had like two steps on That middle backer slow. It was just embarrassment of riches, and that was one of those games at halftime where I was remember thinking, can we score 80? Caught by Jones to the end zone, touchdown. In some ways, it was the best game he's ever played. This was, you know, the piece de resistance or whatever. I mean, this was like from minute zero to minute 60. You know, this was full flower Montana decimating a defense. Throws for the end zone. Taylor, touchdown 49ers. Pump fake by Montana. Launches it for the end zone. Jerry Wright. I mean, th that was one of those, here's a blank check, fill in the blanks. I mean, the 49ers could have scored 105 points that game. Looks over the field, goes for the end zone, Jerry Rice, touchdown 49ers! And the Bay Area may begin its celebration earlier than anticipated. I don't know that football had ever been played that well up to that point. A lot of the throws were just perfect. I mean, I mean, the guy was in a zone. We all hope, no matter what we do, whether it's sports writer or, you know, photographer or whatever, we all hope for that one moment when we can feel like we did everything right. And that's what happened to Joe. Congratulations for everything. What a 